All right, ladies and gentlemen, Baron here. So I'm in the process of doing the Totally Accurate Battle Simulator subscriber tournament. I'm looking for 16, com uh, 16 competitors. Now, as you can see right here, I decided to do a bit of comic relief on something that's scaring most of us in Florida right now, and that is Hurricane Matthew versus the state of Florida. Now, I'm gonna show you what's gonna happen. Um, not like, all right, let me <laughs> rephrase that because this is, this is like, it's a cute, it's a bit of comic relief. I'm, I'm basic, this is me talking to you about how the state of Florida is about to get its ass kicked and it's, it's really kind of scary, truthfully. Um, but what we've got going is I live here in Pinellas County, this nice little peninsula that sticks out, it's pretty, it's pretty noticeable. You know, it's a really cool place. It's awesome. And so I'm on the West Coast. So I'm going to get like a couple days of rain, maybe some flooding because it's, you know, pretty low sea level right here. But I have some friends in and around the Miami, Palm Beach, Fort Lauderdale. I got friends in Jacksonville, all along the West Coast, Stewart, Fort Pierce, like places that a Category 5 hurricane is going to hit. So it's really shitty um and i i'm, I'm kind of worried about it actually now that i started talking about it, i just started thinking about all the people that i know over there and holy shit man i know i have a few buddies who are youtubers one lives in miami um one lives uh, somewhere around here he lives in a small town and he's just he's like a prepper so he's been tweeting out all the things he's gonna do and all the things he's done and He's like, I might not have a roof tomorrow. And that shit's really fucking scary. That shit's really scary. Um, so, I almost, like, I don't know, like, well, we're going to watch this, and Florida's going to prevail, and it's going to be really, really slow. This is, but yeah, like, real talk, guys. I mean, this, this isn't really like a video so much as just like, pray for everybody who's on the East Coast, the South east coast of the u.s because they're about to get they're about to endure something that uh we in the united states haven't had to endure in quite a while in fact for me in the tampa Bay area uh knock on wood it's it's almost in a special place because i feel like yeah that's right florida fuck that hurricane up um we haven't we haven't had a, a, a serious scare till two since 2004 and I remember I have this memory of my father I was still in high school at the time before I went off to college at the University of Florida graduated 2005 from uh, my high school but I remember my dad saying hey son come outside with me and so he what are these guys doing walking off into the desert? Where are they going? I'm, I'm, damn it, Tabs. At least comic relief. You never, you never cease to just humor me, and I, I do, I do like that. This is a bit of a of a somber type blog of sorts, right? But um, so in 2004, I remember my father taking me outside the house, and he handed me a roll of duct tape. And I was like, Dad, what's this all about? He's like, all right, son, the hurricane's coming. There's a storm surge. The storm surge is supposed to be, I believe it was 14 feet high. 14 feet high. And when you live right near the water in Pinellas County, which is surrounded by some of Florida and the United States' best beaches. And I mean, there's a cost to living there close to the water, guys. All, the, all these people are running off the off the cliffs right now. Is this some kind of sick, like, premonition? The performance dropped to shit, and so people are just, they're just jumping off. What is going on with these peasants here? We need to make a smaller Florida and a smaller hurricane. Actually, fuck it. We're not going to do that again. Because it almost, it almost feels dirty. Um, but... The thing about it is like, yeah, so my dad says, hey, son, there's gonna be like a 14, 16 foot storm surge. 
and it's gonna flood the entire bottom of the house and the roof will probably be gone and this was when the hurricane was projected to go straight into Tampa Bay and the way it was gonna rotate was it was basically gonna bring with it this surge of water Oh, you fuckers that's right Florida won but I'm gonna speed that up so uh, you'll, you'll have already seen Florida won and uh, we'll do it one more time while I while I kind of vlog this but yeah so 16 foot storm surge gonna flood the bottom of the house the roof's gonna go off and he handed me duct tape <laughs> and he was like seal all the seams and so we duct taped all the windows all the doors and then we put wood, like, big slabs of wood over all the windows and we drilled them into the walls. And, and then we, like, packed up everything and set them on counters and on desks, anything above the ground. We packed up anything that was valuable and we went to my grandmother's house in Gainesville, Florida, which is in the center of the state, so pretty high up. And the fortunate thing for us in and around the Tampa Bay area was the hurricane ended up not coming to Tampa Bay. Instead, it destroyed other parts of Florida. So a hurricane is always gonna affect somebody. It already ripped through the Bahamas. And uh, I was telling, I have some friends that are just big sports fishermen. Like, they just love to fish, they love to scuba dive, they love to spear fish. So the Bahamas is a very popular destination for all of those activities. Um, there's this island in the Bahamas called Walker's K. And it's a small little island and it used to be very, very famous for sport fishing. Basically, people coming in there with these huge, like, million dollar boats, you know, some of the, the world's wealthiest people, right? would come in with their big old fishing boats or maybe just people who saved up their whole lives and that's their passion when they retired was fishing. And they went into this um, impressive marina, there was hotels, and all the local people on the island had jobs. You know, and it was, it was a booming, thriving little gem in the middle of the Bahamas. And the Bahamas is full of gems like that. And uh, a hurricane came in to Walker's K and destroyed it. And we took I went on a trip with my buddy who with my buddies who love to fish. They're both brothers, and uh, I feel like by saying with my buddies, there was two of them. You know, it, I, I almost felt like there was like a Trumpism of sorts. But we we walked in there, and it was a ghost town. There was an old runway. There was like there was all these docks. Like there was probably, there were so many boat slips and all these houses, there were broken windows, there were leaves, piles of dirt, like branches growing inside of this like old abandoned church looking building. All, a lot of the buildings were destroyed, but some of those that stayed were, were uh, just absolutely abandoned and just pure cinder block buildings. But like, that's the kind of thing that can happen in that place used to be like this mecca of sports fishing in the Caribbean and now it's no more like no one goes there no one goes there at all and as a result like it just really kind of shows you like what hurricanes can do I mean how how badly they can mess everything up and it's really it's really sad because I mean that's just like mother nature you know she does her thing Mother Nature's gonna do Mother Nature. You can't control her. And, uh, as this is kind of sombering and weird and eerie. I, when you watch these totally accurate battle players walk off the cliff. I don't know, man. This is some kind of weird premonition. Or maybe it's not. Maybe these are the sacrifices that we're giving so that the hurricane will spare Florida, you know, but... Uh, a lot of my friends on the West Coast, I'm, I'm really worried for them. A lot of them have said like they're worried about their houses, their homes, their cars, their loved ones, you know, their pets, stuff like that. And um, it's just, it's a little, it's a little nerve wracking. So I want you to keep everybody in Florida in their in your thoughts and prayers. Like as far as I'm, the only thing I'm I have to really worry about, given that this year's not 
the west coast of Florida's year, um, well, at least so far, holy shit, that's kind of scary, is uh, we're, I'm going to get lots of rain. My, uh, my city, parts of it will flood, and they always do when there's lots of rain. Um, maybe power goes out, maybe the internet goes out. I'll be minorly inconvenienced. And um, and then I have friends who who kind of like have that foreboding fear that I remember I had in, in 2004. And thank God it was that long ago. We haven't had to deal with a, a serious hurricane scare in this area of the state of Florida in a long time. And uh, I mean, I remember the look in my dad's eyes when he's like, I feel like he basically said, we're going to lose the house. And I was like, well, what are you going to do? And he's like, I have no idea. And then I went, I went at, I duct taped every seam and I boarded every window. I just went at it with this zeal of like everything my father had worked for might get swept away. Granted, you know, there's, you know, insurance and all that shit, but I, don't, I heard that like, man, remember what happened in Louisiana? Dude, hurricanes fucking suck. That's the moral of the story. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, thanks for listening to me. It's kind of more of getting some shit off my chest in uh for for my friends on the uh east coast of florida I uh, my thoughts and my prayers are with you and i hope all of you are as well um something kind of freaky was that uh there's there's the scary side and there's the comic relief you know which is one of my coping mechanisms with things is i'm a big believer in comic relief right so here is that i'm gonna put this out there and i don't give a shit if you don't like it because you know it's kind of it's it's comic relief there was a there was a uh infrared image of hurricane matthew as it was hitting haiti and lord knows what it did to haiti but it's it's built up even more since then and um it looked like a skull and then some people even said it looked like harami and that's that's the uh, comic relief is it it was the Har they the harami hurricane but the sad truth is there's gonna be a lot of people whose lives will never be the same just as a result of mother nature so you know love your loved ones be kind to people you know have have more fun appreciate life and what it means in the value of life because the world human nature mother nature crazy things so count your blessings ladies and gentlemen my name is baron tomorrow i might be without power um while you're watching this actually i might be without power i don't think i will be but it's always a possibility there's actually there's a model of the hurricane where it'll actually go up the coast of florida and then circle back and i've never seen that fucking thing in my life i've never seen a model of a hurricane do that i don't know if it's media sensationalism or if, or if it's a real fucking thing but that's some scary shit um anyway i've been i've been blabbering on about this keep up with the news you know there's more there's some stuff that's more important than than youtube videos and netflix and just our own entertainment that's people's lives so i'm gonna be keeping up with my friends um and uh Hope you guys have a good day, and if any of you are in west coast of Florida, I hope you get to watch this in a few days. You know, I hope you guys have working utilities, and your houses are fine, your cars are fine, your loved ones, your pets, all that good stuff are fine. My prayers and thoughts are with you, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Baron, and I'm going to go to bed a praying man.